Chapel team meets new Sentinel gear, girls Bible study. The Sentinel needs your help and cross country and girls weightlifting news as we get started this year. I'm Jordan and it's Monday, August 14th, 2023. And I'm Zach and it's time for you to get up to date for this first time this year, right now. Welcome back everyone. Today is the first broadcast of The Update, your morning show where we give you all the news you need to know to start your day. We have a ton of news today, first off being the new items added to the dress code. And as you can tell, it's time for another visit to the Sentinel store to see what's in stock. Let's tell them what they can expect, Zach. Well, Jordan, first off, there are these new crew neck shirts that are available in a variety of colors and sizes. That's fine and all, but I'm not buying something that I can only wear on Friday. Well, that's the point, Jordan, because you can wear these every day of the week, not just Friday. They're kind of like a heavyweight shirt, kind of like a sweatshirt, but you just need to wear it with an ECS uniform collared shirt underneath, like this polo here. And Mrs. Gibbs wants to remind you that teachers must be able to see the collared shirt underneath the sweatshirt. They will also have a new selection of polos and a zip up hoodie sweatshirt that you can wear every day and more Sentinel gear that you will of course want to check out. The store is open on Monday and Wednesday, 8 to 10 and 2 to 4. But on Fridays, it's open all day. Moving on, tomorrow morning, there will be an interest meeting for the worship team at 7.40 a.m. in the Fine Arts Theater. You will meet to discuss the vision for chapel this year. This will be a meeting time where students who are interested in serving at chapel can learn more about what they do and how they can get connected to the chapel team. So make sure you are there tomorrow at 740 and again, it's in the Fine Arts Theater. Well, I think that's good for now. Let's check in with sports. Thanks guys. Well, it's not just our first day for news, but since there aren't any sports scores yet this year, it's also our first day for our Monday sports segment, Behind the Shield, where we give you an insight on what you won't want to miss in this week's sports events, and maybe a few surprises throughout the year. So for our first guest this season, we wanted to bring on ECS Athletic Director, Coach Harris, to find out what's going on in sports this week. And a chance to make your mark on ECS Athletics. So Coach Harris, welcome to the show. Thank you. What's the big news in sports this week? Well, this week it's all about the preseason. Tomorrow, ECS Volleyball takes on Laley, and on Thursday, they take on Northport. And we can't forget about football. It was a great undefeated regular season last year. So what's going on with them this Friday? Well, they're on the road at Lake Placid, the game time set for 7.30. They have a lot of returning key players from last season, so we expect it to be a great matchup. So what's this we hear that you need help with something about our mascot? That's right. So this year, our mascot returns to hype up the crowd on the field and the court. And we need your help to find out who that person is. So what do students need to do? Be on the lookout from an email from myself with all the details to come. Well, thanks for joining us today, Coach, and we'll see you at the games this week. See you at the game. So that's all we have for you for now. So until next time, Sentinels, stay behind the shield. Thanks, guys. We have just two more things for you today. Cross Country Coach Rulo wants to let you know that the Sentinels need high school and middle school cross country's runner for this year's team. You can be a part of the team that could take us back to states. Practices are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday mornings and Wednesday afternoons. Please see Coach Rulo for more details or email him at grulo at goecs.org. Also, Girls Bible Study is starting up this Thursday in Mrs. Mooney's room for high school girls. So make sure to show up during high school lunch to room 257. Well, that's it for your update for today. Remember to give sports and your mascot names, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.